First play to Jock Sutherland. Oh, oh a taco yeah, with Jock. Yeah. Every time I write into you, you have something in your pocket. Well. It almost sounds like I've been accused of being a dilettante. I'm not making it yet. Author and mother Audrey Sutherland often took solo adventure trips. In her book, she wrote, Alone, you do not worry whether someone else is tired, hungry, or needing. You become as a fish, a boulder, a tree, a part of the world around you. I'm Kimmy Werner, and my family is my world. But like Audrey, sometimes I stare out at that horizon and I feel a certain pull. And that's exactly why I left Justin and Buddy behind to spend eight days out at sea. There's just something about being so far away from land and immersed in the wild that gives me such a strong sense of self. Hunting for my own food while being absolutely startled by all of the unexpected beauty around me satisfies me with strength and passion that I get to bring back home. And now that I'm back, hi! I want to share my catch with the late Audrey Sutherland's son, Jock. Jock Sutherland, we continue with the finals of the Duke of Hanamoku Surf Classic. Look at the speed that Jock Sutherland's been able to get. There I am. Jock Sutherland, an inductee of Hawaii's Waterman Hall of Fame and the International Surfing Hall of Fame, was named one of the 50 greatest surfers of all time by Surfer Magazine and was awarded Surfer of the Year in 1969. And first place this year goes to Jock Sutherland. He's credited as being a pioneer of tube riding in the early shortboard era. He's just an absolute legend and a testament of Audrey's great parenting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yet surfing is just one of the many talents of this switch stance living treasure. One of the ones that I do, and it's pretty scary for young children. It's like a, a pterodactyl. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Ah, I, I, I'm not making it yet. <laughs> and at 76 years young, Jock is still out there charging at a North Shore surf break named after him and still inspiring us all. And Jock's not only still surfing, I'll just carry anything up for you, but also still working hard as a roofer with his son Gavin. You're right. This guy. Hey, this is carpentry. This isn't fire, fire building camp. Go, go grab the new blade and the, and the crescent wrench should be right by there. Justin, did you hear what? Did you hear about the big explosion at the cheese factory? All that was left was debris. <laughs> and roofing often brings him to the yards of the best avocado and fruit trees. Homeowners love to share their harvest with Jock in thanks for his infectious aloha spirit. Hello. Hi, Kimmy. Hi. We brought some avocados. And that's how Jock has become known as a one-man mobile fruit distribution center as he generously shares these gifts. And some star fruit, carambolas. So that's another hunting. name of star fruit is carambola. Yes, or the local terminology for it. Is it okay if we use pigeon here? Yeah. Five finger. Five finger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a fresh little mahi with these lovely gifts. Maybe we can make some fish tacos today. Yeah. Is that <laughs> this the one you guy? Like to use? Yeah. May I? Gonna... May I see? Oh, one time? take a look. Yeah. This little sharpener oh. that I have here. Uh, you carry? You bought a sharpener in your yes, pocket? Yes, I did. 
Of course you did. Wow, you <laughs> Every time I write into you, you have something in your pocket. The last time I saw Jock out at a restaurant, I couldn't finish my last lamb chop. A little tink, small, leaving. a small chop. Yeah, yeah I yeah. said, oh, Jock, this is such a good lamb chop. You should really give it a try. He said, oh, I'm so full. And so I thought he was going to turn me down. Wow. But instead, what he did is he just reached into his pocket. He put out paper a, towel. a paper, paper towel, towel. Yeah. wrapped up my lamb chop. You Safely. left with the lamb chop in your pocket. Try Try that. Out. Well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to try and break through the skin. Oh, yeah, that edge is working perfectly. You see that? And I'm not trying to cut deep. So for anyone who does not know Jock Sutherland, he absolutely legendary surfer. You were... Used to be. Uh, yeah, you have a surf break named after you, which Justin considers pretty fine. much one fine. of... He consider, you consider it fun. Justin, what do you call it? scary every well, time well, the most humbling be, thing it can be very user friendly so you were born in california in california in long beach how old were you when you moved to the north shore uh, first grade and mom bought the house on the on the beach there by by chun's i can help actually okay give it a pull you gave me the easy part huh? i loosened it up maybe getting a hands-on experience <laughs> oh, here oh, right i'm gonna put you to work don't you worry and so then you're basically raised by a single mom. Right. And right. she raised four kids. Right. While while working. Yes. While living out here. And we can just wipe this down and then let's get to taco prepping. You wanna start chunking up some avocado. And when you're done with that, I have all this for you. Look what I have. Your mom's book. And this was given to me when I went on my longest voyage at sea for like a month with Noah on a research vessel to Papahanaumokuakea, Northwestern Hawaiian Islands. And I got to just read about the woman that your mom was. And I can't even tell you how much she's inspired my own life since reading this book. I read this book before I became a mom and I found it so inspiring then how how independent, how adventurous she was, where she basically would leave the kids at home and go on these missions. And I mean missions. Like she swam the the north coast of Molokai solo. And this is before we had it's like- In the 60s. In the 60s. Yeah, when she was in her 40s. This is before you could go to the local Patagonia and get like a dry bag or something like that. She would put all her stuff, put it in an army bag, wrap it in a shower curtain, tie it up with a rope, strap it to her waist, now, and swim from like bay to bay. Alava Valley to Kalapapa, about 10, 12 miles. Which is a gnarly coast. Like that is not just a, yeah, she, a scenic, I mean, it is very scenic, but that's, um, that's a pretty gnarly swim. And then she would just camp and live, and most of the food that she brought was stuff that she canned herself or dried no, no. herself. She dehydrated, even... yeah, dehydrated, so it would be lighter. Right. And so. And so uh, what, 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 how did she bring wine? She would have little teeny containers. Oh. Little teeny containers, and it just have a little bit like a film container. A film container, yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. little red wine. Hey, psh, don't get too entitled. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but she got that message. And then eventually she, she got, got a kayak. kayak. Yes. And then she would paddle. The name of this book is called Paddling My Own Canoe. And her slogan that she lived by, go simple, go solo, go now. Yeah, don't wait. Um, you want to give me a... That's, that's beautiful. Yeah, I would that's say right. smaller dice. Reading all of this and learning just from her words really... I think it encourages so many of us to know that parenthood and motherhood does not have to be... Constrictive. The, yes, the end of the road, the expiration date for adventure, all these things, you know? This we can go for, I mean, a mince or a thorough chop. How, how do you like spice? Because we are making a jalapeno cilantro. Some zing. And yes, yeah, yeah. aioli to go on our tacos. And it has some zing, it has some punch. It's going to knock your socks off. You're going to love it. Mm -hmm.
My Zingi Aioli has lime zest, lime juice, pickled jalapenos, cilantro, and some avocado mayo. I'm just going to season this fish, cayenne pepper, paprika, whatever. We're going to go cook outside. Throw in some garlic and you can just kind of give it a little stir. Okay, I know you said cut it vertically. Trim off the bit, the tips of the fins, because those are a little bitter. Yep, 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 yep. If you cut it vertically. Let's just make a super duper starfruit salsa for our tacos. This fresh starfruit salsa is seasoned simply with lime juice, red onion, cilantro, and some of Justin's habanero lily koi hot sauce. Okay, how are we gonna carry this all outside to the grill? I can get this. Well, I can carry the plates. Oh, I can just do like this. Wait, two, only two plates? Did the crew eat breakfast You're this right, morning? we should Eggins. totally bring more plates. Thanks, <laughs> John. You're Come right, on. you're right. You got the big box. Mm, you're the star here. I have slippers here and there. Oh, you are prepared. Yeah. yeah. Well, then you just pick your line. I'm going to go this I'm way. I'm not sure which where I left. I think I left the uh, the Olokais out here. There's another pair. There. Yes, there they are. Are you sure you don't need help? I'm sure. All that legend stuff, Kimmy. I know. I'm sorry no, 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 I no, no, keep no, no, no. doing okay, that to okay. you. But yeah, I, 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 I defer very easily because it's always, it's in my DNA as well as in the back of my mind. You know, in the first place, if you're, you have a high opinion of yourself, you know, right. and, you, and you like to, people say, you need to maybe go see an optometrist because you have an <laughs> eye problem. You ever heard that? I, 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 no, mean, and yeah. I haven't heard that. Okay, let's fire this baby up. So you still, how often do you go surfing these days? I'd like to go twice a week, and, but some days I'll surf for three, four days in a row. Wow. But yeah. uh, just got to be careful about going out in the middle of the day and getting too sunburned because, right. you know, I had some surgeries. Do you want to you dump that bowl of fish right here? Sure. Dump? dump. Yeah. Assertively placed. Not just in one big pile, kind of spread it out a little bit. Exactly. Push that around so that every piece is, okay. is touching the griddle. That'd be amazing. And if any of these start talking to you, maybe give them a little flip. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I think we have some heat going now. I do too. Tough job, but somebody's got to do it, right? It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Making fish tacos with Jocko. I need a photo of that. Taco oh, Jocko. Taco yeah, with yeah, Jocko. Yeah, yeah. Jocko's tacos, Dan. Sell it to the cars that drive by. Having a talk with Jocko making tacos. Taco with Jocko making taco. <laughs> so that, those are close. Yeah, I agree. They're going to keep cooking yeah. even after you take them out. Coconut oil will probably be better for the star fruit, but that's OK. Those look good. They do look good. Oh, yeah, baby. A few of the crispins here. Yeah. Mm, I can smell the sweetness. I can smell the yeah. car the caramelization of the sugars in this. The same thing as dry when you're drying bananas, uh, the heat brings the sugars out more. So right. people go, well, what do you put on these? Honey, sugar? No? No, no nothing. No. Sunshine. That's what Gary Cooper needs to have to do. We pick some garden kale to add to our taco toppings, and as we do, Jock gives me advice on growing papayas. On your papaya tree, it's a little tall. It gets too tall, and yeah. it gets spindly. Then uh, the fruit aren't going to be too big. OK, good to know. Well, I'm just going to give this a little chop. May sure. I prepare you a taco, Jocko? I would enjoy that very immensely, <laughs> yes. I see the, the crews looking on with the almost drooling countenances. Well, we definitely have enough for, for the whole crew. Kimmy's tacos, every single time she makes it, they're just better and better. She's going to have to plateau out there sometime. Yeah. It's like when, when the uh, judges at a, at a surf contest give a guy a 10, and the next guy is in the tube for two seconds long. Well, what are we going to do now? You know. <laughs> so it actually has been a problem. Let's hit it with some star fruit salsa. And then, oh my gosh. You're gonna love this. Yeah, I know. Alrighty. Mahalo. I can take your fly swatter. I'll wait for you before I set tooth to this. You can do you no, you no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. Just come and you know, 
good manners. Here's a little dessert yeah. bite Garnish. for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too yeah. good, too good. Thank you. Yeah. And this is your... That, um, Justin Lilikoi. actually made it. Hot. His homegrown habaneros, homegrown lilikoi. So... It brings the fire. Okay. Petite. Bon appetit. Thanks for coming over and cooking my, with me, Jack. My pleasure. It really is an honor. I actually did get to help cook, didn't I? Oh, yeah. yeah. I wasn't joking that I said I was going to put you to work. Well, that, yeah. That, that, I, I can't you... imagine you being any other way. Yeah, more hands on. Mm -hmm. For me to stand by and go, yeah, good, good technique. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be messy. Oh, yeah. Well. Mm. I just get messy mm. and depend on guys like you with napkins in their pockets to help me out. That almost sounds like I've been accused of being a dilettante. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, delicious. Do you like it? Yes, we need to eat quickly so that... The, the crew can get in here. <laughs> it's not too spicy for you, is it? No. There is some punch just, in there. Just right. The way I would most like to following your footsteps, Jock, is just, and all of us, you know, um, it's the good that you do. I feel like you're always, always recruiting and supporting the things that have great causes, whether it's Nakamakai and taking kids surfing, whether it's, you know, using your roofing experience to get on the roofs of Kupuna who, you know, need a don't. little extra help. And yeah. Sometimes, most of the time, don't have money, so they don't want to hear, it'll be fifteen or $20,000 mm -hmm. to redo your, they don't want to hear that. They, right. They can't afford it. Want another piece of star fruit? <laughs> in Hawaii, about 70 people around, drown every year. Half of those are local people. Wow. And so doing Nakamakai helps change that because it gives kids an idea. Yeah. Kai, you know, know your limits, ask your life. Ocean respect. Yeah. yeah. Ocean safety. Yeah. I'm not the only one to say, but like you are like, um, you're like a teenager. You know, like mm -hmm. in your spirit, in your, Enthusiasm. in the way that, yeah. What, what's your, what's your secret to living so Staying well? In the ocean and listening. See how my ears stick out? Yes. Mm -hmm. Want to see me wiggle them? Yeah. <laughs> Can do it again. That was amazing. <laughs> but uh, the main thing is that you show an interest, a genuine interest, that you're willing to listen because the older folks have got good stories, and if they see you going. Hey, he's absorbing this, you know? Yeah. He, he knows what the value and what we're saying. I can't agree more with Jock and feel like the world today could benefit from his advice. By listening to the ones before us, there are valuable lessons to be learned. Like Jock's mom, Audrey, and the words that she left behind. And like Jock himself, who might speak softly, but if we all just take the time to learn to wiggle our ears a little and listen, we might just receive a lifetime of wisdom and adventure.